Revolution from the capital city, where the uh, Democrat-controlled city motto is, Keep Austin Weird. <laughs> yes. This week in Fort Worth, Texas, we have a different motto. It's, Keep Texas Republican. Yeah. to host the nation's largest Republican convention than our largest Republican county, Tarrant County. Right here, right here is where the conservative cause is strongest and the voice of the Tea Party is the loudest. It's been two years since we last got together. And you might say a lot has happened since then. <laughs> we elected the first Republican supermajority in the history of the Texas House. <laughs> we eliminated a $27 billion shortfall without raising taxes. but it'll give you a great tour of this country. <laughs> I've been asked a number of times, people say, what was it like running for president? And, and I tell you, being the presidential front runner was the most exhilarating three hours of my life. <laughs> reassured that despite our different accents, the, uh, the different climates, the different cultures that we find across this country, and despite the fact that millions of our fellow citizens have lost their jobs, people still remain optimistic. People still believe in the promise of the American dream. These are people who just want to get government out of the way so we can get back to work. my campaign with great appreciation and gratitude that the son of a tenant boss would have the opportunity to run for the highest office in our country. I know that the cause lives on. If America is to be America again, if we are to get off the mat and get on our feet again, if we are to reclaim our birthright of freedom again, we need a president who believes in us again. Three and a half years, nearly a hundred rounds of golf, from my count, <laughs> into this president. Barack Obama has exploded the federal debt. He has passed a failed budget-busting stimulus package. He has tried to socialize health care and provided guns to Mexican drug cartels. <laughs> Admit in America, 2008 was our national oops moment. <laughs> slogan is one word, forward. And I got a new and a different slogan for him, duo. Because <laughs> that's what he wants 2012 to be. No thank you, Mr. President, no mulligans. That's right. No mulligans. America cannot afford and deserves more than a do-over election. The stakes are high. Because the difference is great. Our fight is not just a difference of opinion, it's a parting of, of world views. You know, the liberals think that government exists to fix what's wrong with America. They find fault with our Constitution, our economic model, our core values. We disagree with the premise of their argument. We believe there's nothing wrong with America that an extra dose of freedom cannot cure. They, they believe that 
there is a fundamental unfairness to free markets and that government exists to redistribute the fruits of, of, of freedom. They lack faith. They lack faith in, in individuals like you. For Americans to, to care for our neighbors, to help the sick, to feed the poor. They talk about fairness, but they practice the politics of envy. They talk about rights while creating new victims. They mistake license for liberty, oblivious to the fact that one is a vice and the other is a virtue. <laughs> our, our view is that individuals and families can govern their lives better than bureaucrats. Right. We believe private citizens and employers have every incentive to preserve clean air and fresh water and fertile soil. We believe, in, we believe that government involvement that leads to independence, good schools, quality, Roads, the, the best health care in the world. We believe in that. That's the type of government involvement we want. We know there is no such thing as freedom without the risk of failure. For, for way too long, the system has been gained. It's been gained from Wall Street to K Street. You know, big banks get bailed out and small businesses get shut down. That's not the America that I know. No. We're better than that. And we deserve a president who gets that. Yes. And that is exactly the reason I'm going to cast my vote for Mitt Romney as the next president of the United States. I'm booing about. Because I'm tired of a federal government at war with the states, with bureaucrats and czars who discard the Tenth Amendment and disdain the Second Amendment. I'm tired of an overzealous EPA that kills jobs, a Department of Education that tries to subvert local control, a Department of Justice capable of operations like Fast and Furious. And for the record, we don't need Eric Holder telling Texas how to address election Tax cut 
to 40,000 small businesses during that last legislative session. We continue to take action against lawsuit abuse, passing this last session a new loser pays law. Powerful message to me. And we're leading this nation. We're leading this nation in an energy revolution by drilling in the shell farm. We don't have to settle for high gas prices. We don't have to put our national security in the hands of Middle East mullahs. Drill here, drill now. Get America off hostile sources of foreign energy. Do it. Here's what we know. After a, 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 a decade, after a decade of Republican rule, and that is this. Texas works. Even the New York Times let it slip on to its pages that, quote, Texas is the future. <laughs> sure, it was just an oversight. <laughs> but Texas works because we keep taxes low and spending under control. We stop frivolous lawsuits. We provide predictable regulation, and we get out of the way and let the private sector do what it does best, which is create wealth. And Texas works because you elected strong leaders. And I got strong partners on my side. Some of them are here in this audience today. Some are coming in new roles, Doc, as a, as a senator over there. Passing some of the most conservative reforms in America. We all know in our hearts that Texas is the laboratory of conservative reform. We need more strong conservatives in Texas. And we need more conservative Texans in Washington, D.C. so that we can control the cost of government for years to come. Think about this. With 26 straight months of rising sales tax collections, now is the best time to enact those truth and budgeting reforms. Let's pass a stricter constitutional limit on spending. Let's protect the rainy day fund from being raided from ongoing expenses. Let's end the practice of payment delays. Let's commit to stopping any and all tax increases in the session ahead. instill fiscal discipline in our state. I want to ask you a favor. Reach in your pocket or your purse. Pull out your cell phone. Go ahead. Oh wait. <laughs> Once you click on your text icon. Your telephone computer with this number 21824. 21824. Then I want you to type in the word compact. C O M P A C T. 21824 compact. It's in. What I'm going to do is I'm going to give you up to the minute updates on what we're doing in, in Austin to, uh, to the progress that we're making to reform our state budget. Let me share with you how important this is. The power in this state is in the purse strings. 
room. But there's more power in this room than there ever was and ever will be in the halls of heaven. <coughs> Change doesn't start in the capital. It starts in your community. You spoke up about election fraud, and we now have a voter ID bill in this state. You declared your allegiance to traditional marriage, and because of it, we passed a Defense of Marriage Act. for the unborn, and we defunded Planned Parenthood.
see the stars. I hear the rolling thunder. Thy power throughout the universe displayed. Then sings my soul. My Savior God to thee, how great thou art, how great thou art. Five million people who call themselves Texans, but with a great and a majestic God who's spoken into being, who knows our hearts, and whose judgment is infinitely truer than that of all the historians combined. May all of that, may all that we say and all that we do advance His purposes and not just ours. May we realize how blessed we are to live in a land that is plentiful, to be able to serve a people so wonderful. And may we do so with the humble knowledge that decades from now, you're going to remember our names. But all that we have done, all that we have impacted by our actions in this time that we live in. Let our actions declare how great thou art. May our service be a form of worship because he gives us breath, he gives us life, he gives us purpose. Let us never lose sight of who we serve. God bless you and through you, may God continue to